as some of you have pointed out about the murray cods being the smallest fish in this tank where the puree bar, timensis and two firewood catfish are um, there is a rather large size disparity between the two murray cod this one is the smaller one not by not so much by uh, length but by girth this one looks two times bigger than the other one you can compare yourselves so this this guy is big enough i think to leave it here for now he's not an edible size even though i'm tempted to take him out too but I also i'm also tempted to separate them and see if the small one will start growing faster in the absence separated away from the bigger guy and i have uh i pondered around looked around and i think i have three options to move the smaller guy to is the yield and sturgeon and the high fin 240 gallon tank I could also try him with uh, in one of the three sections of the with the long fish probably not with the big one not with Louis his mouth is a good size but maybe with the smaller ones and also the uh, sickly grow out 2.0 tank as I call it I think out of these three I like the yield and the sturgeon tank the most. There's too many fish in this tank as is. And I don't know how he's gonna how these guys will interact with the Murray cod. The yields and the sturgeon seem to be pretty oblivious to anything. To anything probably period. <laughs> They're not bothering even the very timid hyphen banded Chinese low to shark so I think I'm gonna try him here he likes some cover so he can sit in one of these openings in the center block or in the in the plants as it wishes um, I also consider what fish eat and how fast how fast they eat and this thing again is favorable because I give them uh, pellets and cut fish and it takes them some while, probably about five minutes to finish 75% of it, especially, well fish goes first quickly and the pellets hang around much longer for the, for the loach to, to clean up, which works out great. So for, I think, I, I haven't seen the Murray take pellets yet, but maybe this guy will take the pellets in this tank too. Feeding them in this tank would also be easy because long fish are so slow and I can hand it I can hand their food directly to them if need be. Well not only if need be but we are normally do this. We we feed them hand feed them a lot. In this tank the food goes real quickly. But again, not quickly enough that uh, the Murray cod would starve. I mean, he would get what it would his fair share. So, in terms of the feeding, these tanks are also rather comparable. But in terms of the tank meat interactions, I like this one better. Plus, this bank of six tanks is uh, cooled by a fan. So right now it's sitting at about 82 Fahrenheit, or 83. Otherwise, it'd be at about 86, 88. So I think we'll we'll go for this tank now. I'm gonna catch him and put him there, and I'm gonna leave the bigger one in there for now because he looks his size seems to be good. still makes him safe, I think. Yep, now you can see them side by side, side by side. I'm 
Yes, we're talking about you, mister. Yeah, in terms of the length, also the bigger guy has an inch or two and the smaller guy. Alright, we caught out the little guy. There we go. In the tank bit. Hopefully it'll be good to you. Good to go. Alright. I'll let you settle down in the weeds. Alright, it's been about a couple hours. Our little guy, our little guy is lively here. Exploring his new place. Nobody is bothering him. He's not bothering anybody so far. So hopefully everything will be alright. The big guy is still there. We left him in, in the original tank. I measured the smaller cob. He's about six, maybe six and a half tip to tip, but probably about six inches. So that's a slow growth. This one's probably seven inches or so. He's chilling with the yields right now over there.